Hello guys, my name is Magdalene Janet. Welcome to the Familia. If you are new, please don't forget to subscribe because we're always here hanging out, chilling, having a good time. And of course, welcome back to all my oldies for goodies. So you guys, we're back with what TikTok made me buy part 105. Just kidding, I think it's a fourth video. Wine lip tints. I saw them in El TikTok and I was like, what the hell? I've been loving lip tints because you know you wear a mask. So if I, I just need a tint. This is my natural lip color. We need a little bit of color, especially if you have makeup on. When you don't have makeup on, I don't really care. So let's open this up and see. Oh, this is a lip gloss waterproof. And I have this shade here, Shiraz Red. Oh, look at the wine. You know, I'm not a wine drinker. But your girl likes a good cocktail. Oh, look at this. Okay. Wow. Look at this. So cute. Oh, okay. Good. Dofa. Just wanted to show you guys. I found these on Amazon. The boxes all look the same, but we're assuming they're all different shades, different tones of like berries and stuff. If you've never seen me or my lip swatching videos before, what I usually do is at the beginning, I do all the lip swatch in studio lighting and in daylight. And towards the end of the video, we talk about it. I tell you how they look, how they feel, how they smell, all that jazz. Without further ado, let's get started with these lip swatches. Okay, no lie. The boxes are a little deceiving. Look at these. Look at all the different colors of the cap. Oh, I don't know if it's called caps on bottle wines, but you know what I mean, the cork, something like that. But this is the order we're gonna go in. So freaking cute. All right, first one up is blush pink. This is the shade Blush Pink. And in daylight, this is Blush Pink. Next one up is Chardonnay Orange. This is the shade Chardonnay Orange. And in daylight, this is Chardonnay Orange. Next one up is Shiraz Red. This is the shade Shiraz Red. And in daylight, this is Shiraz Red. All right, next one is Nebbiolo Red. I think that's how you pronounce it. This is the shade Nebbiolo Red. And in daylight, this is Nebbiolo Red. Oof, moving on to Rose Coral. Rose Coral. This is the shade Rose Coral. Oh, last but not least is Merlot Burgundy. Thank you. 
This is a shade Merlot Burgundy. And in daylight, this is Merlot Burgundy. You guys, oh my gosh. Look, I haven't even removed it. Wow, okay, whoa, whoa, I am shocked. I'm like shook. <laughs> this comes in a set of six. You can also buy them individually. The set retails for $14.99 on Amazon. I bought it when I saw it on TikTok because Michaela reviewed it. They were sold out, you know, they were back ordered. I placed the order they came pretty quickly. I think it only took like two weeks or so. Not only, well, look at my fingers. Who knows how long this is gonna last, but not only are they very pigmented, they dry down onto your lips, which is probably how the lip stain occurs. You see, there's no shine to them, and it's not matte either. It's like this kind of like sticky-esque, it's not going anywhere. I don't even know how to explain it. The formula is very, very lightweight. It goes on your lips, it feels a little wet. Put it on, you can literally take it back off without even waiting for it to dry down because it will stain your lip. At first I was scared as I was applying each and every one on that you weren't gonna be able to see the actual shade because I layered the heck out of the lipstick since we were already stained. But I did notice because they are so pigmented, once it dries down to this level, which takes literally a minute, you get the actual color of the doe foot. So I really like that both of these are very cohesive to one another. Because this is the stainiest, if that's a word, lip stain I've ever used. This doe foot is perfect. It's not your thinnest doe foot, it is stiff. This thing, here, let me use a napkin because my fingers are already stained. This thing is stiff, it's not gonna move. So it's going to help you apply the product precisely without messing up because girl if you mess up and you go up here you're gonna have that stain unless you wipe it off immediately i'll probably have to use vaseline or my a and d ointment i use that as a chapstick it's a diaper rash ointment but it works really well at soothing the lips i'll probably add that leave it on and try to rub it off i'll try to document it to show you guys how this is going to remove i have a feeling it's gonna probably take a couple of days to remove so it's not heavy at all not sticky way pigmented i may go as far as saying maybe a little bit too pigmented because girl unless you know you want this shade on your lip make sure you you know what shade you want on your lips because this thing is gonna stay it's not moving which is good this is really the point of these these are lip stains lip gloss waterproof I don't consider it a gloss. I consider it more as a stain on the lips because it does dry down. It doesn't feel like a lipstick. It doesn't feel like a liquid lipstick. It doesn't feel like a lip gloss. It doesn't feel like a lip plumper. If you've tried lip stains, you know it has that very thin formula that kind of dries down onto your skin. But what I do want to show you is swatches. I'm going to just do them right here so you can just see the color. Since I kept layering on on top of freaking color i just want you guys to get another look the camera did pick up the shade so i'm really glad about that and of course daylight does always give you like the truth girl my hand's gonna be looking crazy tomorrow but of course for you guys i give you all all of it all of it these are the shades in which i swatched you see how wet the formula is but it's thin too let me turn down the light so you guys know what i'm talking about this is like the first shade and the last you see, it looks wet and it will remain like that for that minute that it's drying down and then it dries completely. Here, let's see. <laughs> yeah, you see? <laughs> Girl, look, I'm stuck now. The shades are beautiful. I love the wine theme. They have a name of a wine and the colors are of wine, dark wines. I just like it. I think this concept is so freaking cute. What I like is that the shades are true to what you're shown. I love lip stains for a lot of reasons. I really like that you can just remove it with the makeup wipe and you have a little stain on your lip. I kind of like this shade. It's very pretty. It's not as dark though, but you can layer these. Look at me, layering some more. A shade like this, usually berry shades, can get a little bit patchy. I always suggest for you to wait 
let it dry down and layer it on. This is the stainiest lip stain I've ever tried. I'm completely shocked. Wow, wow. They're not kiss proof really, but look, let me show you. Let me take this off, try to. I'm gonna get a napkin here just. And now, nothing. You see, these are the most potent lip stains I've ever used. The most pigmented and I like them. I thought I was gonna feel my lips feeling super dry or lips just drying down completely because the formula is so thin and it kind of dries down. TikTok definitely came through once again. Yeah, you get, you get what you buy with this. What are your thoughts on these little wine lip glosses, lip stains? Let me know your thoughts. I will link everything down below, all the shades. I'll link them individually too because I know I saw that they're sold individually. Let's start the clock. This is how the lips look. It looks like I didn't take it off, but I took it off, put A and D and girl, Girl, pigment. Good morning, fam. So it is the next morning. These are how my lips look. We still have some. What I found to be the trick was to use toothpaste. As I was brushing my teeth, when I finished brushing my teeth, I just scrubbed the heck out of my lips and the majority came off. But I want to show you guys here footage of last night when I washed my face, brushed my teeth, the thing was still on, like full on. I slept with a and ointment, so I feel like the ointment loosened the product up. So this morning I was able to like scrub the shit down, but we still have some right there. But surprisingly, my lips don't feel dry. They don't feel like they're on fire. They don't feel bad. <laughs> they just don't feel bad, especially swatching six of the shades. So I'm happy it came off. Okay, let's go to the outro. That's it. I love you guys so much. Thank you for hanging out with me, spending a little bit of your day with me. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the button right here, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!